Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Savannah and today it is currently Thursday, um, April 1st. So today is April Fool's Day when I'm filming this, but I figured that I would kind of film a like Easter get ready with me. I thought that that would be really fun um, just because I feel like that's always like a fun time to like get ready and I just kind of wanted to just like do like a get ready with me. Very chill. Um, I know that my tan looks crazy because I don't really have much left on my face anymore. I just self tan last night. My hair is still wet. So we have a big transformation to do today, but I thought that I would just film like me getting ready kind of like talking to you guys while I get ready. So yeah, I thought that I would do that. Um, you guys are currently balanced on uh, two candles right now. So we're just gonna make this work. I also have my second cup of coffee to get through this. So we're gonna be just fine. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are excited, just be sure to keep on watching. And also if you have not yet, please be sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so I've just moved my mirror a little closer so that way I can see exactly what I'm doing. So I've already primed my face. I used the, let's see here, I used the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I really like this. This kind of has like a blurring effect, which I really like. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury. This is like the Hollywood Flawless Filter, I think is the name. It completely rubbed off. But I'm going to apply this like underneath my eyes and then also on my cheekbones. And this is like kind of a different product because it is kind of like a liquid highlighter but it's not like shimmery it's a little bit different but I really do like it I feel like it just like makes your skin look really healthy and radiant which I do like so even though I like pack on powder <laughs> even though I tend to wear like pretty full coverage foundations and stuff like that I just feel like it makes your skin look really healthy like look at that glow it just looks so pretty and it looks good like under the eyes too i feel like it kind of helps my concealer blend out a little bit so that's personally kind of how i like to use it and i think this shade will match me pretty good it looks pretty good so i bought this sponge for the first time i feel like i am so incredibly behind so this is the juno and co sponge that was like all the rave i think in like 2017 um like everybody was using this sponge and i just never tried it but i saw it in, in target the other day so yeah i'm gonna use the l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation the shades in 480 this is like a good self tan shade for me so i'm just gonna dot this on i think this will be a good shade obviously it looks crazy because i don't have a bunch of self tan on my face um i literally put self tan on my face last night but um after like you wash your face like one or two times it does fade pretty fast also if my hairline looks really crazy it's again just because i self tan and sometimes it can get kind of splotchy it does feel a little different because it is like the microfiber sponge so it does have like a little different feel than just like a regular sponge, but it is working good. But I am so happy that I was able to self tan last night because I had to exfoliate my tan off because it looked so bad earlier this week. And I used um, like a tan that normally does really well for me, but it just like looked really weird and like it was patching off of my chest, which I normally don't have that happen to me but it was just not holding up very good. So I didn't want to like tan super like fast because I do want this to last until at least Monday because I am going to go and try and take some pictures for Instagram and stuff like that. And I just want to be nice and tan for that. So, you know, you just got to plan ahead. <laughs> so that is just what I did. So yeah, I self tan last night. I used the St. Moritz Tanning Mousse um in the shade medium that's like one of my favorites and it's really affordable it comes from ulta so if you're wanting to check it out i do recommend it so next up i think i'm going to do some like cream bronzer so this is the milk makeup matte bronzer and this is in the shade baked it's like a cream and i do really like this i like to just kind of like take it on a brush like this rather than drawing it on and i just kind of like to pat it in for some reason anytime i do cream contour or anything like that on camera it always looks really patchy like that looks like i did not blend that out at all but it literally looks completely normal in person i don't know it's just one of those things it looks kind of weird on camera but it looks totally fine so what are your guys's plans for easter i know that some people i'm sure are just going to be like staying at home with their family i know restrictions are kind of like different for everywhere so what are you guys doing for easter i would love to know 
I need to figure out what kind of dress I'm gonna wear for this video because obviously I'm gonna do like a hair, makeup, and outfit. So I'm interested to see what I pick. So for concealer, I'm using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Light Beige. I might mix a little bit of the darker one just because this does look pretty light in comparison, but it might not be a bad thing. We'll see. I honestly don't think that looks crazy. Why does it look so insane on camera? Holy cow. I'm just gonna set this with a little bit of this Wet n Wild powder, and I'm just gonna kind of bake a little bit underneath my eyes just because I do tend to crease a good bit. And then I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just kind of dust off the excess powder that is on my face just because I don't want it to look crazy. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I will be right back. Brows are done, I am so sorry. I feel like they took literally forever. Probably a good idea that I decided not to do them on camera today. So I think for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the original Jaclyn Hill palette. This is like one of my all time favorites. I love this stuff so much. So I think I'm gonna go in with Silk Cream, I think is the name of this one right here. And I'm just gonna start putting this like all over my crease. I don't plan on doing like a bunch of eyeshadow today just because um, I just, I don't know. I feel like there's not a bunch of like a big point in like putting a bunch of eyeshadow on. So but now that I have that all over my eye, I think I'm gonna do the next one that's a little bit darker, this one right here. And I think that one's called Pooter. So I'm gonna take Pooter. <laughs> And I'm just gonna like put that kind of like on the outer corner area, nothing crazy. And I'm just using the same brush. Like I'm not doing like anything super crazy with this eye look. I just don't really feel like it's necessary. And then for underneath, I think I'm just gonna take the exact same first shade, mix a tiny bit of the um, second one. And I'm just gonna put this underneath my eye just for a little bit of dimension. I'm just gonna take one of the darker browns and I'm just gonna tightly put this on my outer like lash line area just so that way I have like a little bit more depth of my lash line area nothing crazy so I think that's all that I'm gonna do as far as eyeshadow today I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara this is the essence lash princess and Depending on how my lashes look, I might put on falsies. I'm not really sure quite yet, but I will keep you updated <laughs> on what I decide. The mascara is on and I'm still not sure as far as like what to do for lashes, but I will, sure I'm gonna decide at some point. So I'm gonna use my Jaclyn um, Blush and Bronzer Duos. This is in the shade Warm Flush and uh, Golden Goddess. And I'm just gonna take some of the bronzer and start bronzing up my face. These are such good bronzers, by the way. If you has, have not tried them yet, I really, really like them. And the blush is so pretty and it looks really natural and healthy and I really, really like it. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna contour my nose or not just because it's a process trying to do that. So I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna do it just a little bit. I'm gonna use this like little contour. So I think I'm just gonna contour my nose just a tiny bit. Nothing crazy, just add a little. This is a really good trick if you want to make your lips look more pouty is you put like contour or bronzer underneath your lip. And it looks crazy at first, but whenever you like put on um, lipstick and everything like that, it looks totally fine. And then for blush, I'm just gonna use the exact same little blush and bronzer duo. Gonna take the blush. So I do like to apply my blush kind of higher. I like to apply it kind of on top of the bronzer and almost where you would put like your highlight just because I feel like it just makes your face shape look a lot better. Like it makes your face look higher, if that makes any sense. Um, because if you put it like right on your apples or your cheeks, I noticed that whenever I did that, it kind of accentuated my like cheeks. Like it made them look a little too crazy. And then I applied a little much. So I'm just gonna blend that out just a touch next up i'm gonna do some highlighting so i'm gonna take the jacqueline highlighters in the shade sparks and i'm gonna apply this on the inner corner area and also on the brow bone and down the center of my nose and also on my cheekbones. I like to go crazy with highlight. And then for a highlight, I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on my cheeks, nothing crazy. And oh, it's so pretty. This is like a really pretty, like kind of like goldish highlight, but it's really light. So it doesn't look 
um too yellow on my skin which is something that i really like about it i feel like this looks good whether i'm really fair or really tan all dressed i have my hair brushed out i have to brush it out a little bit more but i just put on these press on nails and let me tell you guys they look seriously so good this is what they are they're the impress color by kiss um and i got like the little like blue color here um, so these are the nails that I have on and then this is like a little up close I did kind of round them out because they were just like straight across and I personally like an almond shape for my nails I just think it looks really nice So yeah, I have brushed out my hair and then this is the dress that I have on this one I got from a thrift store and it was super cheap and I thought that I like had to have it I just thought it looked so classy and pretty like I'm obsessed with this like it just looks so elegant it just hits right below the knee and I think it is so pretty. I have on these super cute heels from Target. They're the A New Day brand. I did get these in a size 10, uh, standard size. And then I have on this little like pink bracelet from Kate Spade and these matching earrings that I got for a graduation present. So yeah, this is like the little overview of the look. I think it is so sweet and so pretty. I love it so much, honestly. I just 110% realized that I don't have any lipstick or anything like that on. So I should probably do that. That would like maybe make everything look a little bit better. This lid for that lipstick does not want to stay on. So I'm going to use the Revlon Nude Lip Liner and I'm just going to align my lips. And I do personally like to overline my lips. I just feel like it just looks nice. I don't mind how it looks too much. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this Fenty gloss. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of this nude lipstick in the center just to brighten up. Okay, and I think that is pretty much it. So that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please be sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel down below. And I hope you guys have an awesome Easter. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.